I have a lot of thoughts, but more or less, I have really gained a lot of knowledge that I really had no clue about. But uh, let's get into the review of this new docuseries that's going to be premiering soon right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. Today, we're reviewing the new docu-series that's going to be coming out in five parts, A Moment of Truth, which is going to be set on IMDb TV and Amazon Prime Video April 2nd. Now, this docu-series highlights the investigation of the tragic murder of James Jordan, who is the father of the most iconic basketball player ever in Michael Jordan and you know they 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 speak to uh who was convicted of this murder Daniel Green who has been maintaining his innocence for 25 years uh and while that seemed to be really the bulk of what's happening here that's not really what surprised me but I'm, I'm gonna get into that but what's interesting enough for me here is that you know watching Michael Jordan play as I you know grew up uh, one of the best players of all times. That's undisputed. Uh, it was always the question of when he retired. And when I was younger, I guess I looked at it like he done really accomplished everything. He's the greatest player. And if he wants to call it quits, then he can call it quits. And obviously, you know, he played around in different sports and all sorts of different things. But like looking at that press conference when he retired, I initially remember thinking like, yeah, he's he's done. He just wants to call it quits. But like actually looking at the ramifications of why he quit now because of my uh, lack of knowledge of the, the murder of his dad, um, it makes sense that this murder absolutely affected him way more than he ever led on, um, which is almost like a bang bang to his retirement. Once this happened, he kind of was just it was just too much for him. Um, so I think that was the biggest thing for me is really looking at how this affected Michael as a fan. Now, why this did not really focus on Michael at all, maybe a very minimum, um, I, I that's the first thing I took away from it. Because I, I even hit up a friend like, do you, do you recall why Michael Jordan ultimately retired? And, you know, again, to, you know, us being kids, we really didn't know the ramifications of this murder. So now looking at all the details about it, it just makes so much more sense. And obviously maturing, like it, you can see how this can play an ultimate toll onto somebody uh, really flourishing in their career. But so that was, you know, one highlight of that I was able to get from this. But I really liked uh, what I liked about this documentary um, is that uh, beyond investigation stuff, using the footage that they uh, were able to un for un un never unreleased footage that was used in this as well, too. Uh, which was really cool, you know, getting to actually hear from Daniel Green, um, who has been convicted of this murder um, and, you know, has been trying to do everything in order to really get his uh, ruling uh, appealed and just all sorts of different things that he's had. And, and then, you know, him presenting new evidence and whatnot. Um, so that's, you know, that's the other element of this. Daniel Green. um story is interesting enough that I'm not going to dive into it because I think that I think that's going to be the lore when you get to um talk to the murderer or who's been accused of the murder or who's been you know ultimately um convicted of this murder and hearing him um you know do do whatever he can to really uh um get his case uh tried again but ultimately that's not the really big thing that was surprising to me the Daniel Green and the Larry Demery, who was obviously the two people who were charged, but Larry um, is, I believe, in two years ago, um, he's up for parole now, which is kind of interesting. But like their their story is definitely interesting. You'll you'll see. But what was interesting to me that really had me baffled is when they highlighted the 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 corruption in Robeson County, North Carolina, within their law enforcement system. What was interesting about this to me is that um, not only because there's corruption all over the place, but it was the idea of how many people, both internally within this 
uh, law enforcement system and people of this town. And like, not only the biggest shocker to me was that in this t- in this t- town and in this time, white people were very vocal about the corruption of law enforcement towards African Americans. And it was mind blowing to see such a stance back then <laughs> the way like you know you, you you see it now because of how things are but like seeing the stance and seeing this footage of people calling them out the way they did was so mind-blowing to me i could not believe it and not only was like this wasn't just blowing up smoke like the operation uh tarnished badge resulted in the convention of 22 co- conviction of 22 deputies in the local sheriff's office and and uh in 2002 like the evidence that was really put against them that you see in the documentary that ultimately led to this is like it's, it's so shocking to me. So, like to kind of bring this all all together, like there's a lot of good information in this documentary to something that um, had mainstream att- a, a, a attention, but it also still left a lot of detail out, and this documentary covers that with a lot of un never seen before footage. And just really tying the whole story together, not only with, with the murder, but with the corruption of the town and how um, the town folks really played the hand into this. Again, the Daniel Green and Larry Demery, uh, you know, conflict between the two of them as again, they were both charged, but they got different punishment. And Larry Demery was, uh, there's, 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 there's a theory that he was, uh, yeah, there was a theory that he was working with the feds and part of the corruption as well uh, because they wanted to charge the black man. Like, there's a lot that's going on, too. Um, there's also, again, there's on-camera interviews with, um, again, with Daniel Green and his lawyer, Christine uh, Muma. So, like, there's a lot of good stuff here. Now, the thing is with this documentary, it's very informational. Um, I, I don't think it's, like, one of the best documents I've ever seen, but I think it's going to draw a lot of attention because of high profile the pro high profile uh of a person that this is in james jordan and i think all you know sports loving fans or just people who remember this case being able to see um this information come forth now uh with with new light new details and so on i think a lot of people will tune into it so overall i enjoyed it but like i wasn't like blown away by everything that was happening but i definitely grasped a lot of knowledge upon watching this and that is always worth you know watching a good docuseries so again, it's five parts. It's going to be uh, releasing on uh, April second, making its premiere on IMDb TV and as well as Amazon Prime Video. So, Moment of Truth, good documentary, very short binge. Um, I think you know once you you stuck through one episode, especially by the second one, you're definitely going to be like, all right, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna stick this out. And you're there's going to be a lot of different tidbits that comes out of this because again, depending on uh, and, and again because. Because of when this happened back in 1993, you know, media and everything has changed tremendously. So, you know, you had to read in the newspaper a lot of this stuff. Some things you were able to get on TV, but like now being able to see it all come full, uh, full circle with all the details in one place is, is um, you know, it, it would change your perception just a little bit on it so but anyway yes thank you for checking out this review let me know in the comments are you checking this out your thoughts of this once you have and as always folks stay tuned because more reviews are coming real soon